What's up guys, this is Jason from Jason and Jabari Gaming and today I have two more Battlegrounds rank ups for you guys. The first being Toad. Uh, I received Toad when I did a featured crystal opening. Uh, I do live feature crystal openings so far uh, with a decent amount. Um, when I first pulled Toad, I didn't see too much value in him, but Metaphors, uh, a former alliance mate of mine, um, he told me the value in Toad, and uh, I, I actually did not take his advice just yet. Uh, but then when I faced uh, one of the top players in the world by the name of Fintech, um, who I faced a couple of times, never beat him yet. <laughs> uh, he actually sat me down and took the time to talk to me about my deck and how to make it more um, competitive. And when he n learned that I had Toad, he 100% gave the green light, which he seldomly does. So that meant a lot to me. So I, I took his I took his advice and I was happy that those two guys, because they both were top players, um, gave me that advice. Um, he has been extremely solid on um, defense and as well as attack. I still need to learn him offensively, but he has I have clutched out a couple wins with him on attack um granted i'm i don't know how to play him up optimally yet and hopefully i will learn in time and i'll probably talk to a few people about him specifically in order to uh learn his rotation or whatever the case may be to make me uh give a better edge on my opponents um i'm currently back in the top 100 again we've done it uh about three or four times now so that feels really good um but uh, he also causes poison damage um, and he can turn those into passives depending on the situation. He has a very strong regen so he can stall out your opponents on defense and he causes unavoidable damage if they don't have an immunity to him when he's awakened. Uh, if they did bring an immunity to him, uh, by the 10th time they were supposed to receive a poison, they will actually be uh, stunned. So that's really, really good. So again, he has a ton of utility, guys. He has a ton of utility, so I would definitely encourage you guys to take him up. I haven't seen him um, in a meta yet for Battlegrounds that he doesn't excel at. Granted, I have not personally had him in every meta, but the metas that I have had him, he has been nothing but clutch. Um, I'm not guaranteeing you a win every single time. That sounds ridiculous, but I am telling you he's a problem, and he's highly, highly up there as one of the uh, defenders. Um to have in my opinion uh so consider that and keep that in mind um i use a ton of resources just to get him up i think i yeah i think i had to sell just about everything but i did it because i knew that it was worth it and uh so far i was right man you know uh so far i was right um the second champion that I ended up taking up, which is a similar story, I ended up having to sell a ton of stuff. I had to open a ton of crystals because I'm, you know, <laughs> I'm pretty broke after all of these rank ups and stuff like that, guys. Um, they're not cheap. <laughs> um, with Spider Ham, even unawakened, um, he, he causes a lot of problems. Uh, I've put him in the deck and he's still fresh and new so i don't want to have like a biased opinion saying that he's so good because actually hasn't been performing as well but i've only done it like two or three times and those situations that i put him in they had an ideal counter so that's again that's not fair um but he can cause problems he's great offensively and defensively uh he did the summer of pain uh for me i used my five star of course um, but uh, yeah, he, he causes a lot of what I like to say shenanigans. <laughs> Him and Domino, man, they just you just never know what you're going to get with that AI. Um, so I specifically took him up for Battlegrounds and um, I'm looking forward to see how he performs uh, when when Battlegrounds goes live. Uh, for, unfortunately, I should say we are coming to a close on the beta. Uh, I am going to see if I can crack 2100 club because I've never done that before. I like to push myself and uh, and I want to see if I can beat some top players. Um, I have been consistent uh, where I'm at once I get comfortable enough and once I learn enough uh, to be and stay competitive. And I love this aspect of the game. It's like a breath of fresh air 
for me to learn and experience new things and uh, test myself and challenge myself again uh, when, um, you know, Alliance War and stuff like that became a little stale. Um, I still participate in it. It's just it doesn't feel as it used to. But this feeling has flooded back into me when Battlegrounds came out um, and I actually participated because the first time around, I, I think I was doing uh, Karina's challenges and whatnot. But yeah, so um, these, you know, these are the reasons why I have ranked up these champions. Last thing is, uh, you know, he has um, power stings when he hits you and stuff like that. So again, unavoidable damage with taunt uh, if they are not paying attention. Uh, and he can uh, cause you to miss and he hits extremely hard so uh, yeah man um, I'm very very happy about these two rank ups I'm very excited to see how high I can take my uh, myself and then learn how to become even better you know uh, that's what it's all about and uh, as a competitor that's that's what we thrive on so thank you guys for uh, watching and um, we will catch you guys real, real soon. Peace.